What's up YouTube, my name is Linus, this is my dog Kiba, and in this video I will give you my six best tips on how you can take better photos of your dog with this gear, or whatever gear you use. Number one, bring a camera. You never know when those true Koda Agmin Sony moments are going to present themselves. Timing is everything. The best camera is the camera that you actually bring. Tip number two, focus on the eyes, especially when shooting portraits. Of course, this may vary with the image, but overall it will bring more life to your portraits if the eyes are in focus. If your camera has an animal eye detection mode, make sure to activate it before shooting. Number three, having good communication with your dog equals photos that stand out. Train your dog to perform tricks or stay even at a distance from you and you can get more of the environment into the shot. Number four, change up your perspective. Shooting top down can be fun from time to time, but getting a little creative and playing around with your perspectives can really enhance your images. For instance, in this photo, I wanted to get as much of the background as possible, so I shot the image top down. But in the case of this image, the beautiful mountains in the background were on the same level as Kiba, so I had to adjust my perspective and bring the camera down to get them on the same level. Number five, understand and make the most of your equipment. Don't always shoot at the biggest aperture. Bokeh is popular for good reason. It can really work wonders for your photos, but don't rely on bokeh to always automatically make your photos great. If you have a great backdrop, show it off by stopping down the aperture of your lens and get a bigger depth of field. For instance, this photo was shot at the biggest aperture, meaning I have a very, very short depth of field, whereas this photo had a much, much bigger depth of field and was shot at a much, much smaller aperture. If you're shooting for Instagram, remember that your bio and your feed will look so much nicer if you have a little bit of variation to your photos. Number six, remember to always have fun with it and always reward your dog, whether it's showing affection or giving it treats. If your dog is having fun and feels it's getting something out of cooperating with you, chances are it will get easier and easier for you to get the shots that you want in the future. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like it, comment, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one. Peace.